And that just made him super happy. He really likes that. He's just out here chilling. It's that time again! Morning! <laughs> and it's that place again! The Kyle Family Vlog! Good morning! It's early. Tibbs woke me up early. So therefore I woke up Sean early and said, Here, hold this baby while I go make us a smoothie. We're getting back into training season with parkour, which means that we're getting back into health nut season. So, starting the day off with a smoothie. This one is made with orange juice, Greek yogurt, naked drink, spinach, and frozen berries. Usually we put more fruit, but we are yet to go get some fruit from the store the past few days, so that'll probably happen today. And here's this cutie. Good morning, Tiffs. Good morning. Say hi. How goes Wave it, buddy? Wave hi to the camera. Wow. Oh, and it has kefir in it. This is the best. I forgot I've I put kefir. Thumb up. Thumb this video up if you'd like one of Natty's smoothies. Yeah, I'll mail it to you via Acme Mail. Look at this boy in his cute little outfit. Hey, Tibby, who dressed you like this this morning? Once again, Mom did. But who chose the outfit for you? Yeah, Dad did. How you doing, buddy? Nat, as always, is perched up on the couch. On the couch? On the couch, on the table. Is perched up on the table more next like, to the baby. More like Nat, as always, is eating. I eat constantly. Nat has have the extraordinary ability to put food away. Natalie has told me I am supposed to be taking a break. This guy wants to be held and walked around, and so... Generally when that happens, we basically just keep track of the time. Nat basically clocks out and it comes off of her check because uh, we want to make sure that he gets anything he needs. So normally we try and schedule work during his nap. He likes to sleep during the middle of the day, so we schedule the onerous stuff then. And he can stay in his car seat and it's not a big deal. We might take the car seat out with us. It all depends on what we're doing. Or sometimes Nat will wear... Uh, the carrier if she's raking or whatever um, so he does really well with us most of the time but occasionally he's like okay it's time to get up and do things so whenever that happens we take him out and let him play and look around and stuff like that he really enjoys his little midday breaks from his naps that he gets to see stuff we were just looking at the stop sign on the bus right over there and that just made him super happy he really likes that He's just out here chilling. Natalie. So I just picked all of these uh, sticks up and brought them over from another area. And Natalie is... I told her I'd be happy to carry the heavy stuff, but not. Nah, she's just going to muscle through it. She is quite firm. Uh, she already threw one of these in, and I was I like... I have a gym membership. I have to do something. I was like, I can throw that in for you. And she snapped at me and was like, no, I got this. So I'm going to vlog it while she does it. Go, Nat, go, Nat, go, Nat, go! Three more reps for time. Three more. Three more at your one rep max. Yep. Hey. She's tough as nails, folks. Probably 75 pounds. It feels like it's at least 65. Hi. It was a heavy log, I can attest. Well, the weather here isn't bad yet, but um, we know we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain and well, quite possibly some flash flooding later today. And they just did a weather announcement that down in Pueblo, flash flooding is expected to start um, pretty pretty quick here. So, 
And it sounds like, from what they said, it's going to be pretty bad down there. And we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain, so we're trying to get the main part of this job done before it gets too rainy, because Colorado Springs might not get that bad, but we live in Manatee Springs, so we might need to be back home in our home before it gets, uh, gets too wet up there. I think they're doing that the really hard way. Every time we come to dump a load, by the time I get my gloves on to go out and help Sean, he's usually about more than halfway done. He needs to share his methods with them. That looks really difficult. Really difficult. <laughs> Pretty muddy here. I think a fishtail might be in order. <laughs> I don't think the other people here would necessarily appreciate your fishtailing. Did I ask them? We can even grip. It's not even gripping. <laughs> oh, well, it was fun on my end. Um, okay. Goodbye. You know what's easy to do? Find unflattering camera angles. has got its base shaking so much that it was making everybody's windows shake. Well, hello. We're home from work. It's the earliest we've been home from work in at least a couple weeks now. It's four o'clock. So I feel like I have a lot of time to actually do things that I've been putting off. So of course I'm doing housework. Yay. But... I came home and I started singing Welcome to the 60s, just kind of humming it. And Tibbs, I think he recognized it because he started, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I have now put hairspray on in the background for background noise. Can you hear him? <laughs> Welcome to the 60s. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Go, Tibby, go, go, go. He was humming. Anyway. I'll come back when something exciting is happening. Alright guys, I'm clean. I have selected this camera angle so that you just can't quite see my hair because I will do it, but I haven't done it yet. It looks a lot better though. <laughs> I look a lot better. In the meantime, I am incensed by the smell here. Wow. It's not bad, but I am going to light some incense. I absolutely love incense. Honk if you love incense. I mean, write a comment below if you love incense. Better yet, write a comment below if you like ice cream. Tell me your favorite flavor and then send me a sample. Natalie has folded almost all the clothes. There's a little bit left, but it's almost all done. Yay, Natty. Just showing her face because the baby's eating. I am cutting out food for dinner with my bum hand. I hold the food, this is what I do with the carrots, I hold the food with one hand, then with my bum hand, I cut like this. It's not as effective as having a completely working hand. Would rate 6 out of 10, would not recommend, definitely try and cook with a good hand. But that's just if you're making soup, which I am. I have not tried it on steak, maybe we should have steak, I'll try cooking it with my bum hand and I'll let you know how it goes. Well guys, it's that time again. I have bathed, Nat has bathed, Tibbs has bathed. Let's see what we're about to eat. And then she's gonna edit the channel trailer. It is so close, I might just stay up late and when Nat's done editing, I might sit there and finish it. I'm guessing it'll be out Thursday. So, I'm excited, I really like it. You should check back in on Thursday and watch it. 
Thanks for watching today, guys. We appreciate you being here. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.